There are two pretty simple rules that we will be going through in this video. The first one is when you take something to a power of one. If you raise anything to the power of one, it equals itself. Because if you think about it, like if I'm looking at this first example, if I take 12 to the power of one, all it's saying is that I'm taking one 12. So I get 12 for the answer. Same thing when I have H. I have, <clears throat> I have one H being multiplied, which would just give me an H. If I have anything inside of the parentheses, B, C to the power of one, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna say that I have one B and I have one C. And if I have a negative number, it doesn't change anything. I have negative three to the power of one. I just have one negative three. So my answer is negative three. The other rule that we're gonna go through is when you have a zero exponent. Before we go through what, it, what happens when you do have a zero exponent, I want you to take a look at this pattern. When I do two to the fourth power, I get 16. When I have two to the third power, I get eight. Two to the second power is four. Two to the first power, we just went through that, anything to um, the first power is going to be itself. So before I do two to the zero power, take a look at the pattern that's happening. See as I go from 16 to eight, eight to four, four to two, each time I'm dividing by two, right? Because really what I'm doing, if I go the other direction, I'm taking it each times two, because each time I have an extra two. I had four twos, I had three twos, I had two twos, I had one two. So if I keep that pattern up, I get two to the zero power is one. So that brings us to our second rule that we're talking about. If you have any exponent raised to the power of zero, it always equals one. So if I have m to the power of zero, I get one. If I have four to the power of, ze power of zero, I get one. If I take this entire thing inside the parentheses to the power of zero, zero I'm going to get one. If I have p to the power of zero, I would get one. q to the fourth power, that wouldn't change because that's not raised to the power of zero. The only thing that is, is the p. And so I get one q to the fourth power, or I could also write it as q to the fourth power. Because if I have a coefficient of one, you're often gonna see it where that one is dropped off. So really all you need to remember, any exponent, to the power of zero always equals one. And then if you have any number raised to the power of one, you're always going to get the same number or it's going to be equal to itself. 